Hey guys, it's Tamika here. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, we get into all things fashion, makeup, and beauty on this channel, but hashtag affordable. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also, go ahead and hit that notification bell so you are notified when I do upload new videos. So I've done some thinking. I've done a little testing here and there, and I feel like I wanna revisit this Fenty Beauty powder in a different shade. I know in the last video, I did a, a comparison between 410 and 420, ended up going with 420, but then I played with it a little bit more off camera and kind of felt like it really was too dark. Like, it was really dark. So I went back and got 410. I wanna show you a side-by-side -side comparison between the 420 foundation and the 420 powder and show you what I saw and I was like, yeah, this definitely cannot work. I might have to go a shade lighter. So when I did do the first video, after I did that video, I went back to Sephora and returned the 410 because I was like, I'm definitely set with this 420. But then when I got to playing with it, I was just like, yeah, this is not it. So I had to go back to Sephora and I bought 410 again. I still have the 420 just because I'm not sure if I want to return it or if I want to keep it just because, you know, like in the summer months, you get a little bit a little bit more tan so i want to see if that will maybe work in the summer or i might just end up returning it i don't know and i want to do like a quick swatch to show you guys so this is 420 in the foundation here is found uh 420 in the hydrating foundation oh yeah and here is 420 in the powder foundation so you can definitely see that the powder foundation pulls a lot more uh, red than the liquid foundation. And that was the issue that I noticed after playing around with it for a little while. It looked completely different <laughs> once I had them on side by side on the face. So let's go ahead and put on the foundations on the face just to give you guys a better look. And I literally just came from Sephora. I came home and sat down to do this video. As you can see, I still have my scrubs on. <laughs> I just wanted to get this video over with so let's go ahead on this side i'm gonna go ahead with the foundation if you guys haven't tried this hydrating foundation out i definitely recommend it it's definitely a lighter um foundation good for like not super full coverage if you just want like a light wash of coverage this definitely gives you that but it's also it also has good coverage all right so now for the right side of the face going in with the powder foundation and i'm going in with a brush this is the i believe it's called instapop by real techniques it's a uh, dense foundation brush press this into the skin Now can you immediately, you can immediately see how much more red this is pulling. <laughs> Absolutely more red. All right, so as you can see, there is definitely a clear difference in the shades 420 in the liquid foundation is my perfect match it matches my undertone really well it's got like a nice light golden undertone as opposed to the 420 in the powder which is a lot more red and just this side just makes my face look a little bit more dull now seeing it side by side with the liquid foundation this is not this is what I want it to look like. This is a little too dark. So I hope it's picking up um, effectively on camera, but I can absolutely, now having these two side by side, I can actually definitely see the difference. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is take off the 420 powder on this side and then go in with the 410 powder. Gonna go in with a clean brush. This brush I actually 
got from Sephora. It was on sale, but I got this brush because if you guys watch Kathleen Lights, she uses this brush like all the time. She raves about this brush and it was on sale, so I figured why not pick it up. It's a really cute brush. It's shaped as a heart and it's a really nice uh, dense brush that can be used for powder and foundation, uh, powder and liquid foundation. And this is, uh, this brush is by It Cosmetics and it's called The Love is the Foundation Brush and press this into the skin. Instantly better. All right, so here's the 410 powder on this side. Definitely 10 times better. Not as red as the 420. It looks better in comparison to the 420 on this side. A bit of a better match for my skin tone. So now I can really see that, yeah, 410 is definitely the better option. Seeing that it still looks a little bit darker, but that is because it is a powder. This one is showing a little bit more luminosity to it and it's a liquid so it's not quite dried down so there is that factor but as far as the comparison between the two powders 410 for me is definitely the better fit So here is the final look using 410 and I'm so happy I went back and got this shade because I feel so much more comfortable in it. I feel like it looks amazing. Now that I can see it for what it is and everything piled on it, the coverage is amazing. It looks very smooth and blurred on the skin. Everything else that I piled on top of it um, blended very well. Um, yeah, I have no complaints. I should have stuck with the 410 the first time around, but if you are a foundation twin with me, then you definitely need that 410 because it has the um, more golden undertone, even though 410 and 420 are both described as like a warm golden undertone, 420 runs red and the 410 is a little bit more golden or yellow in that sense. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.